Every school in NCAA uh, athletics has a sports information director. I've had multiple friends who serve as that, and me, I can't do my job without them. Uh, they, they definitely come in handy. The position, however, has changed dramatically over the, over the many years, going from the person who called the local paper with the box score to creating websites that incorporate all kinds of multimedia. Over the last 50 years, Shadron State's Con Marshall has seen it all, and now he's going into the RMAC Hall of Fame. This piece is narrated by this year's Campbell Marshall Award winner, Alex Helmbrecht. If you ever go to Shadron State College, there's no escaping the influence of Con Marshall. His name is on the press box on the football stadium. Heck, you could say he wrote the book on the history of Shattern State. Actually, he's written two, and you'd be right. He's in the Shattern State Hall of Fame and Nebraska High School Hall of Fame. The award given to the top sports information director in the RMAC is also named after Marshall and fellow RMAC Hall of Famer J.W. Campbell. But the last person who seeks this praise is Con Marshall. He likes to put the spotlight on students and on alums who have done well and that makes him happiest to promote them rather than have him be promoted. Peggy Marshall met Con. where else? In Shattern, when both were in school at Shattern State. When Con got his first job at CSC in 1963, he did a little bit of everything. In those days, you had to do a lot of different things because he was the only one really writing stories about the college. And so he had to do all of the sports and he had to do all of the other things, the fine art stories and, and um, all the different stories that had to be done were in, in his job description. Khan knows all things shattering. Khan does know a lot and people call all the time to get information or if somebody from out of state calls someone else here in Chadron, they always say, well, call Khan. And so we, get, we do get a lot of calls like that. Um, he likes history and I think he just carries that in his mind. He was drawn to sports and the athletic department for the Eagles. He's always said he was a frustrated athlete that um, he wasn't good in athletics or he thought he wasn't and uh, I think he just always admired athletes and he wanted to promote athletics, so he did. During his half century at Shadron State, the stories about Khan traveled around the country, even when some were fiction. Probably my favorite story about Khan was a basketball game when the referees didn't show up. And when he reported it, somehow it got turned around to where Khan had to sing the national anthem, which he really didn't. But Paul Harvey picked it up. I think they're always looking for little tidbits like that. And he picked it up, and so it was on his program that the referees were late or didn't show up and that Khan Marshall had to sing the national anthem. Well, then it ended up being in, a, in an Encyclopedia Brown book, and it's um, on kind of outlandish sports stories. Marshall stepped down as Shadron State's Sports Information Director in 2007, but he's still a big part of Shadron State. In 2010, Marshall was named Shadron Citizen of the Year, and now going into the RMAC Hall of Fame, Marshall is humble, as always. This is a nice honor, and I, uh, even though Khan thinks that it should go to someone else, I, I think it's really nice and we appreciate it. Khan Marshall, RMAC Hall of Fame, Class of 2014.